your mobile settings, a place you probably very rarely visit. Well, in this week's episode of Working with Todoist, I'm going to show you some exciting new changes that Todoist have been throwing out over the last few months. Hello and welcome to another episode of Working with Todoist. My name is Carl Pauline and in this week's episode we're going into the exciting jungle of the mobile device settings. A place that I know very few of us go because, well, I very rarely go into my mobile settings. But Todoist is working all the time. Their developers are working hard at work, making the program even better. I said program then, making the application even better. And there's been some updates in the last few months that even I didn't notice were there. And this week, I'm going to show you what's new so that you can start setting up your mobile device to make it even better than it already is. Okay, before we go into Todoist though, I would just like to say, if you get any value from this video at all, please help me by hitting that like button below. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel and you want to be updated on any of the changes that Todoist will be bringing out over the next few months, then make sure you subscribe to this channel. Okay, let's go into my mobile device now and I will show you all the new things that have come in Todoist settings. Okay, so what I have here is I've completely closed down my Todoist. So I'm going to open it up fresh and it's going to open up at the start place that I want it to open up, which is today's focus. Because I generally use my phone for collection and just a quick review if I'm out and about. But generally speaking, because I do a lot of my work sat at a desk, I'm using the desktop version of Todoist. But whenever I'm using the, the mobile version, the two things that I actually want to mainly for is to check my today's focus because they are the most important so Todoist opens up immediately at my today's focus and also for doing a quick check to see what happens next and the other thing I should say is that my main collection collection bucket if you like is actually using my iPhone but to set up your today's to set up your start page on your phone so kind of linking from last week we need to go into settings so we go back to the main screen here which is where we see the main menu. If you go to the gear icon at the top there, you have a load of options down here. What you want to do is to go into your general account. Now, when we start here, we can set the language automatically, which means that it's going to be on your system preferences. But the start page here, you've got start page and start page sync. And I'll explain start page sync in a moment. So if you go to the start page action, you have a lot of options here. You can actually go in and do it from, I can see I've got a load of stuff here. I'm going to my projects right here, or I can go down a bit further and I can go to my labels and I can create labels, or I can use my filters, which I am doing here. So I could use my computer's dashboard, but the dashboard that I use from my computer is essentially for my dashboard on my computer because it's a bigger screen. I'm just using today's focus right here, which is what I've done there. Now, I should point out that if you don't set a start page, it will automatically open up at your today view. So that's how to set your start page on your mobile device. And this, of course, runs across all of your mobile devices, whether you're using Android or iOS. It doesn't really matter. Now, start page sync, what that means is it will sync across all your devices. So if your start page is synced on your desktop as the dashboard view, which I showed you last week, then that is the start page it would set up right here. Now, while I'm in here, there's a couple of things that I really wanted to point out. Uh, Todoist is constantly updating their system. Now, one of the things that I actually discovered was that the we now have, if I just go into my, we'll go back into my view, you'll see what happens is, who's going to today's focus? What we now have is <coughs> the dot. So I can just tap on that and it will complete, it will complete the task for me. But that's not necessarily what you want. I actually, personally, I prefer the old fashioned, <laughs> the old style, which was using my swipes. So I have reset up the swipe. So you've got swipe actions down at the bottom of your general settings menu. 
So you go on there, I can actually, for me, for the right swipe, so that's going from left to right, I have that set as a schedule. And I have got on the left swipe, I have the complete, because that's the, the way it used to happen. You used to be able to swipe across and complete. So if I go back into my today's focus, and I can show I can just I can now move across like that and I can set it up as a complete which is how I've always used to do it and I didn't want to learn anything new to go right I can reschedule it by just hitting that from there so that's one thing another thing that you can set up now on your mobile device so these little things have been coming out over the last few months and I missed them completely so I just wanted to give you an update on how the mobile settings are as have been set up so date and time by the way uh, you have uh, you can start your you can change your start week and you can interpret next week as and you can change that as well so there's all sorts of things that you can do within your general settings now on your mobile device and these things have been coming up over the last few months and I just wanted to give you an update on how you can set these things up on your mobile device so hopefully that's given you a lot of information and a lot of things to play with it just remains for me now to wish you all a very very productive week thank you for watching this video now if you want to take your productivity to a higher level then get yourself enrolled in my 2019 edition of your digital life 2.0 online it is a complete comprehensive productivity and time management course and it's a course that will take you to levels of productivity you have only ever dreamt of before. It shows you how to build your very own COD system, collect, organize and do. It shows you how to create the folder structure, how to build into your, your goals, into your daily to-do list. It has everything and not only that, you will get a free copy of Your Digital Life 2.0, the book. You also get a free workbook and you get access to all the slides that are used in the course. It is incredible value. I want to see you in that course. If you are serious about becoming productivity, then please join me in Your Digital Life 2.0, the 2019 edition. Thank you very much for watching this video.